Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures and thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to sh uh, demonstrate a short video presentation in regards to using the TradingView platform, which is a web-based platform that's available at AMP Futures for free. Uh, we already have a couple videos on our YouTube channel in terms of how to log into the platform, so we're going to go uh, you know, under the assumption of you already have gone to those steps and you know how to log into the platform. And in this short video today, we're just going to simply show you how to execute trades off the chart. Very straightforward, very easy to do. And we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that right now. So uh, let's get right into it. As I mentioned, this is a web-based platform. So the first thing we're going, to go, we're going to do is go to the AMP website at www.ampfutures.com. This is what the home page looks like. And then you're going to want to click on Client Portal. And I'm going to click on Web Trading Login. All right, once I do that, it's going to take me to a page which will show, show us all the available web-based platforms that are available at AMP Futures. And then the, the option we're going to select is Trading View as you can see the third icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now I have a, a demo trial, so I'm using a username and password for a demo account. Of course, if you're using a CQG data feed with AMP Futures, your, universe, or your login is universal to connect to any platform that works with the CQG data feed. So of course, if you are using the CQG data feed, you could actually use your, your username and password to log into the platform right, right off the bat. So all you have to make sure is just make sure you click Live and just copy and paste your live username and password for your CQG data feed and just hit sign in and that's going to simply log you into the platform. Now for now I don't have a live account so I'm just going to go ahead and just click on demo and just real quick if you do want a copy of the demo just be sure to go to www.ampfutures.com right off the home page you'll see the trading view logo and you'll see free demo so if you as long as you click on that free demo button and just fill out the quick in, uh, the quick contact information and just submit the request you should receive a username and password within five to ten minutes and that demo is good for 14 days. So that is what I'm going to be logging into right now. All right, so let me go ahead and just grab the username and password. Now, I always recommend a copy and paste just to help eliminate any, any errors that you might uh, accidentally create if you, if you manually type in the credentials. And as I mentioned, this is web-based. So it does work with pretty much any device. You can use it on a cell phone device, whether it's an uh, Android or iOS device. You can use it on a Macintosh computer. You can use it on a Windows operating system. So it gives you a lot of flexibility, the fact that it is web-based because you can use it on any device practically. And now I'm going to hit sign in. And in a few seconds, we'll be logged into the platform. So when you log into TradingView for the very first time, this particular layout that you see on the screen is exactly what you see when you first log into the platform. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward workspace. This is the free version that's available at AMP. Uh, TradingView has different versions of their software from standard to professional. So there is a different pricing depending on what version you plan to use. In this case, we're showing you the AMP exclusive free version. So this is, a, this is a platform that you do not have to pay any monthly fees for. This is exactly what you see when you log into the platform. And we're going to take you through you know, this particular video series. We're going to show you how to use every aspect of the platform step by step. Uh, so to keep the video short, we're going to focus on each particular subject or topic of the video itself. In today's video, we're just going to show you how to execute trades off the chart. There is no dome at the moment, uh, no price ladder, no matrix level 2 data. From my understanding, that's in development, but uh, there was no ETA one that will be available. So for now, the, the only way to execute trades off the TradeView platform is strictly executing trades off the chart. Okay, so when you first log in, this is what you see. So we'll go over how to organize the watch list later in the video in terms of the series. But today, we're just going to show you how to execute trades right off the chart. So one thing that you can do if you want more space on the chart itself, you can go ahead and left-click on the trading panel tab that you see right here. And this will collapse the trading panel and it will show the entire chart. So that therefore just gives you a lot more space to work with in terms of the charting area. Now if you, if you don't want to minimize it, you can always click on the trading panel once again. And then you will see that it will collapse that bottom panel back up. Now I, I do like it because for myself, it gives me the ability to, to use these three tabs that you see here. So there's orders, for example, we can see your working orders, positions to see open positions, and account summary to see how much you have in your account. Uh, from cash balance to a cumulative P&L as well, to open trade equity. So the account summary is going to be an important tab that you're going to utilize very often to see what's going on in the account as you're placing trades. For now, we're going to go ahead and leave this open. Now you can resize this, so if it's too big, you can always just grab this little cursor here. If you notice, my cursor turns into a double-sided arrow up and down. Now if it does, I can left-click, drag it down, and that will increase the size of the chart and decrease the region of the trade panel itself. Again, you can always get rid of it if you just click on it. Now it goes away entirely. If you click it again, it, it re-collapses it. All right, so 
really, it's really simple to execute trades off TradeView. All you really have to do is take your mouse cursor and just point it at the price level on the chart that you want to execute the trade at. So first off, how do you identify the last trade price? It's the green price that you see on the right side price column there at 2087 and a quarter. And then you can see right there, of course, that's real-time data. These two buttons here are quick market hotkeys. So basically, if you want to sell at the market, buy at the market, you can click these buttons. If you don't want this little panel to be displayed, you can go ahead and click this little gear icon here to the right of the trading panel tab. And what that will allow you to do is get into the trading properties. And then, or better yet, that's my mistake. If we click that, we can uncheck the show buy sell panel. So you can, if you uncheck that option, show buy sell panel, then it just removes that panel. For myself, I actually like it, so I'm going to leave it on. But if you click that little gear icon, you can go and uncheck that option if you want to get rid of it. So just simply check or uncheck. All right, now, if let's say I want to place a buy limit at 2050 even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I'm logged in through TradeView on a desktop PC right now, so I'm using a mouse cursor or mouse. Of course, if you're using a cell phone device, you know, just think of your mouse cursor as your finger. So you would just basically use your finger to click on the price on the chart versus your mouse cursor. In this case, since I'm using a computer, I'm going to right-click over 2050. You can see that the price has been identified because the shaded price is showing the 2050 level. And now if I right-click with my mouse, you're going to see the option trading, and then it will give you the, the available order types that can be placed as specifically at that price level. So if we're, you know, if we're hovering over 2050 markets at 2088, the only two orders that can be placed at that price level would be a buy limit and a sell stop. So in this case now, the next thing you're going to want to do is specify or pick that specific order that you want to execute. So in this case, let's say a buy limit at 2050. I'm going to left click with my mouse. There's a confirmation. Just basically pre-populates everything that we've just done. So are you sure you want to buy? There's your account number, the symbol, the quantity, the, what type of order. This is a limit order, the price itself, and then duration. So these are day orders, good till cancel, good till day. Uh, those are pretty much the main three order types that you'll probably be using. Mostly day trading. If you're day trading, day orders will probably be the most common. Now I'm going to hit buy. And now you can see the order is working visibly on the chart. And you can see a little confirmation on the bottom left corner. I'll go ahead and close that out. And now if I go to the orders tab here, I can now see that buy limit working at 2050 even. From here, I can even cancel the order if I wish. However, I prefer doing everything off the chart. It's just more efficient for myself. But I do want to point out that you do have the ability to cancel the order if you decide uh, to do it from the, the orders tab itself. You can also edit the order by clicking the little gear icon there. If you notice edit order, it just brings back that ticket. And now you can go ahead and make your changes accordingly. So you can either hit the up and down arrows or you can type in the values, whichever is easier. And that was an example of modifying it directly from the orders tab within the trade panel itself. All right, so you can cancel the order. If I hit the X there, hit yes. Now you can see the order is canceled, and you can see visibly the chart, uh, the working order is no longer visible on the chart, and it's also canceled within the trade panel. All right, so that was a quick demonstration how to place the trade and how to cancel and modify the order from the trade panel. Now let me show you how to place a trade and modify or cancel orders directly off the chart versus the trade panel. All right, so in this case, we'll just right-click, let's say, at 2035 quarter. Right-click with our mouse, trading. Now this time we'll place a sell stop instead. All this information looks correct. Now if you're not a fan of the confirmations, I can show you how to turn that off. Uh, let me just go ahead and first demonstrate how to place the order as I've already demonstrated, but let me show you also how to modify and cancel the orders directly off the chart. So right now if you notice the order is working, you can see that visibly as it says sell stop for one contract at 2035 quarter, markets at 20, uh, 2087.75. Now watch what happens if I mouse over or if you're using your phone again, you can take your finger. You're going to press over the sell stop order, either using your finger or you're using your mouse cursor, and you're going to hold down your left click. So in my case, left click. Now while holding down the left click, I'm dragging it to the new price that I want to move the order to. And then once I find that price, I'm going to release the left click. So let's say 2055 even. I found it. Don't have a steady hand. There you go. Now I'm going to let go of the left click. Now here's a confirmation. Do you sure you want, are you sure you want to amend the order to 2055? Yes. Hit modify. And now you can see the order has been changed. All right. So again, left click, drag while holding down the left click. You're going to drag it to the new price and you're going to release the left click onto the new price. Let go of the left click and then approve the confirmation, modify, and now the order is changed. And that's pretty much how you modify the order. So it's a left click, drag and drop to modify the order. All right. Now I'm going to go and cancel the order. It's pretty obvious how to cancel the order. We're just going to hit the X, and now the order is canceled. All right, now, if you're not a fan of the confirmations and you want to turn them off, but what you can do, there's, there's two ways of accessing the menu option. You can either just click on the Preferences menu here on the trading panel, 
earlier to deactivate the show buy sell panel that's the same section but the difference is this time you're going to click on trading properties and when you click on trading properties you're going to click on the trading tab here and then you'll see right here require order confirmation you can uncheck that and now click OK so now if you go to place a trade on the chart so here at 204975 notice now the order just gets implemented or inputted immediately without any confirmation so if I modify the order instant modification so there's no second confirmation that's just my preference I'm all about efficiency so I like to be able to move things around quickly and enter trades quickly I don't like being asked a second time however if you know if you're using the platform for the very first time you're still not fully fluent with it then it might be recommended or suggested to leave the confirmations on just just to, you know in the beginning while you're still learning the platform uh, just that way you don't make mistakes Otherwise, if you're pretty familiar with the platform and you feel that, hey, you know what, you have a handle of it, then it, you can always go in there and disable the confirmations. Again, just click on the trading panel, preferences menu, go to trading properties, and just click on the trading tab here, and uncheck require order confirmation. So I've already done that. If you want to have it on, just make sure it's checked. For now, I'm going to leave it off. And that's pretty much how you place trades off the chart trader. Very simple, very easy to do. Again, identify the price by hovering your mouse cursor. If for any reason you don't have this crosshair that I have activated right now and you're wondering how to activate it, on the top left corner of the platform, there's a little drop-down menu right here. It's very small. You, it, it might be set to arrow just like that. So now you can see there's no crosshair. So if you do want the crosshair, just, just change that to cross. And now you can see you have a crosshair. So you're going to identify a price level. Once you identify the price level, you're going to right-click with your mouse, hit trading, and then you're going to go ahead and just select the specific order type that you want to use. So sell stop or buy limit. Once the order is placed, you have a visible, you can see the order visibly working on the, on the chart itself. You can always left click, drag and drop to modify it or cancel by hitting the X or make your changes here from the trade panel. All right, and then let me show you real quick what a position looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these buy or sell market hotkeys here. So let's just say short. We'll click that sell button and I just executed a trade. You can see right here a confirmation. I just sold one at the market price. Looks like we got filled at 20.87 and a quarter. So we'll close these confirmations out. If you look now in the positions field, you can see the position is open. There's our average price, 20.87 and a quarter. Quantity, there's the, 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 the side transaction, which in this case is a sell. Open trade equity, so we're losing $12.50. And if you look on the chart, right now the market's trading. Remember, the green, uh, the green colored price is the last trade price. So if, if the market's 20, uh, trading 20.87 half and we're short from 87 quarter, which as you can see, which is the red indication price, that's letting us know that we're, we're down $12.50 because we're basically we sold that at one tick lower than where the market's currently trading at. All right, so that's pretty much what a position looks like. Let me just, now these two buttons here, when you have a position open, you have reverse position and you also have closed position. So reverse position, these are both market orders. So for example, if I left click on reverse position, watch what happens. It, it basically immediately bought two contracts at the current market price and now I'm long one. And notice now the 2087.75 is the blue shaded highlight versus red. That just indicates that we have a long position versus short. And then the last trade price is 87 half, so that's why we're losing $12.50. And you can see also the position is now changed in the open positions panel as well on the bottom. So you can see one contract, 2087.75, that's our average price and we're currently losing $12.50. Now if you hit this little X button here, close position, that will, that will liquidate the position at the current market price. So watch what happens when I do that. Okay, we just sold it back at 87 quarter. Now you can see there's no more positions being displayed in the positions tab here. If I click over to the orders tab, now you can see there's the last transaction that we just executed. So we basically, we took a loss on that trade of two ticks. Now if we go to the account summary, you can see that cumulative P&L is $75 loss for the entire day. All right, so this is where you would go to see what your total profit and loss is, where it shows the P&L column here. OTE basically means open trade equity, so it's zeroed out because we no longer have a position in the market. And that's pretty much how you place trades uh, using the TradeView platform off the chart. One last thing I want to point out that's pretty important. To, you know, Typically, when you're using a trading platform, liquidate or close position, it normally will cancel out working orders at the same time. So let me just real quick place a buy transaction here. I'm long long from 87 half real quick I'm just gonna place a sell limit above where I bought it so this is just random price and then we'll place a sell stop let's say at 2066.75 so I have a long position at 87 half I have a sell limit at 93 half a sell stop at 66.75 but watch what happens if I hit the liquidate button close position in, in this case it only closes the position out but does not cancel the working orders alright so just just be mindful of that very careful with that if you decide to use the close position function 
on the open positions within TradeView, it does not cancel out the working orders. You have to go back and cancel the working orders. So in this case, when I click X, X, now the orders are canceled. Now all positions are closed and there are no more orders working. And now we're back to a clean slate. And now we're ready to take on new trades moving forward. So just want to point that out. Very important if you decide to use the close position function, it will not simultaneously cancel the working orders. It will only close out the position at the current market price. You have to go back and cancel the orders out manually if you had any additional working orders outside of that open position. And other than that, this is a quick demonstration of how to place trades off TradeView. If you have any questions or any, any technical assistance, we are a 24-hour support team fully trained around the clock. Feel free to give us a call at your earliest convenience. We're at 312-893-6400, extension 1. That will transfer you directly to our help desk. In the meantime, for more videos, please visit our AMP YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And happy trading.